The Shallows is a 2016 shark thriller movie that follows the survival journey of Nancy Adams, an ex-med student whose recent loss of her mother causes her to feel she needs space to cope. Thus, she and a friend make their way to Mexico in order to visit a secret, nameless beach Nancy's mother told her about when she was alive. But when Nancy's friend flakes out, leaving her to go surfing alone, Nancy becomes literal shark bait. When she accidentally enters the feeding ground of a giant, great white shark, who's bent on attacking Nancy, forcing her to take refuge on a nearby rock, where she must stay as she fights for survival against nature's most fierce predator. As for 47 Meters Down, this story is similar in that it takes place in, yet again, Mexico. But this story has a bit of a twist. This time we are dealing with two characters, sisters in fact. One is named Lisa, a panicked person who has recently been left by her longtime husband, Stuart. And Kate, a spontaneous, fun-loving person who talks her sister into going cage diving with a couple guys they had met in Mexico. Upon arriving at the cage diving, Lisa seems reluctant, but Kate is all in on the fun experience ahead. Thus, the sisters jump into the water, but soon regret it as the boat line attached to the cage they are sealed in begins to break and the pair are plummeted down into the dark depths of the ocean, landing on the ocean floor with no means of contact and no way out due to the risk of getting the bends and the man-eating sharks circling them above. So as far as story, my personal favorite is 47 meters down, mainly due to the fact that I could watch this movie over and over and still be intrigued by the ocean and its intensity. I myself love the water but am terrified of the ocean because as Family Guy always says, anyway this story really makes me anxious but in a fun kind of way like when you go on a really fast roller coaster. Whereas the shallow story is a good one, it's not quite my cup of tea and doesn't really invoke the rush I feel 47 meters down does. So in my opinion the first round goes to 47 meters down. As for this round, we'll be discussing the main characters, mainly their ability to be resourceful and attempt to survive throughout the movie. First up, let's talk about Kate and Lisa. As I do think these two are somewhat resourceful in a way when they need to be. Okay, okay, mostly Kate more than Lisa in the first half of the movie. But still, these two seem to kind of sit around and do little to no help with their situation, whereas Nancy does quite a bit. Now, I know what you're probably going to say, and yes, on one hand, Lisa and Kate are confined to a cage with little to no supplies or places to go, but here's the funny part about that. So is Nancy. She literally has two earrings, a necklace, a sharp tooth, a camera, and half a wetsuit to work with, and she still does stuff throughout the movie with. If anything, I feel unlike Lisa and Kate, Nancy is able to adapt and be resourceful when necessary. I kind of feel like most of the movie, we just see Lisa and Kate kind of stop and go, meaning they do stuff and then they sit around and wait. With all that said, I believe Nancy's badassery earns her a win for this round. Now, as for this round, we'll be talking about the jump scares and the shocking moments that bring a chill to our spine. First off, we have The Shallows. Now, The Shallows has a lot of action and a few jump scares here and there, whereas 47 Meters Down is kind of only a bunch of jump scares and little action until the end, that is. But one thing that 47 Meters Down does reflect well is the amount of fear one has when swimming in the ocean. Now, I myself, as I said before, like the ocean, but am totally freaked out by what might be in it. And yes, though 47 Meters Down doesn't reveal much of what the fear of what's down there in the first place is, the movie more plays off of the fear of what if something is down there. We feel a sense of fear for ourselves even though we're not there in reality. We feel the tension the characters feel when looking through the little box in their scuba mask and the flashlight that only shows what's in front of them. That undeniable fear of what could be anywhere or where one is is in my opinion one of the scariest things about the ocean. So in the case of the fear factor and good jump scares, I'd say we have to give this one to 47 meters down, no doubt. Now our next round will stir some people up, I'm sure, but here's my two cents. The Shallows is more believable. Okay, okay, let me explain. Yes, near the end we get into a bit of a different story with the flare going into the water and turning the shark into some sort of flame-on shark. 
But the way I see it, when someone asks me about believability in this case of movies, I would think about the most likely event to actually happen in reality. And in this case specifically, a surfer getting attacked and having to try to survive in the ocean for days at a time sounds a little more believable in my opinion than the story of two sisters who happened to go with two guys, who happened to know someone who owns a cage diving service, and who also happened to have it break while they're on it. Sure, is it possible, I guess, but... But look, this is just my opinion and shallow seems more likely in the case of believability and thus earns another point for the win. The final battle in the shallows, though somewhat dumb, is no doubt packed with action, as we the audience watch Nancy struggle to finally finish off the beast once and for all. And although, like I said, some of the pieces of logic fall flat, that's not quite what we're here as the audience to see in a shark thriller movie. We want to see an epic final with action, fighting, and struggle, then ultimately see the hero prevail in the end. And as for 47 meters down, we do get some of that, but then the ending seems to somewhat disappoint. And I won't spoil it, but 47 meters down kind of pulls a twist on us, the audience, that even though I really like, I kind of feel ruins the suspense of the movie for me personally. And with that, the final point goes to The Shallows. Somewhere beyond the sea some